Hey yo, what's decent yo? I got another Pokemon Wi-Fi Sun and Moon battle that I want to showcase you guys. Let's get it going. My opponent is going to lead out with that bug electric thing. <laughs> I'm going to lead out with the Cinero. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the U-turn because this man has a lot of things that could take fire type attacks. I do happen to be choice banded, so I do pack U-turn. Uh, I'm supposed to pack in Leech Life. I do like the fact that Leech Life is now a viable option. I love it. I mean, it just increased the attack power, and I'm looking at his stats like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. When I got the TM, I'm like, that's nuts. So I'm going to switch out to my Tapu Koko. I finally remember that that is Tapu Fini, right? And I noticed that he doesn't really have too much to take unless your type of attacks. I don't really have to worry about a Marowak here. Uh, he goes into that Corsage thing. I forgot what that's called. When I first saw that Pokemon, I kind of laughed. I'm like, yo, they had a Corsage as a Pokemon. That's hilarious. And I guess that it was fairy because it's like, yo, it's, it's a Corsage, you know, for going out for proms and stuff like that. So, you know, bringing Porygon, I'm thinking that maybe he's Choice Scarf or maybe that's a facade because I've seen the Z conversion before. So, he's just going to go ahead and go for the tri attack and kill this off. But, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to go to him to switch out into his Tapu Fini. So, watch this. Greninja comes in, right? I do have the Battle Bond. So, I know that he's going to want to switch out to Tapu Fini. In particular, because that blocks Greninja entirely. He could get off a Moonblast and or a Scald on an Impending Switch out if I kept Greninja in. Now, I'm going to switch into Como O, as you guys did see. And he's going to be compelled to stay in, hence why I'm able to get off this poison type attack here. He wasn't expecting that. And that is going to be able to finish off that thing, which is a huge, big deal. That was huge. So that means that there's not going to be a lot of things that can block Ninja from getting his battle bot activation going on here. So now he goes for the Thunderbolt, and I'm able to go for the Brick Break here and finish that off. And I guess, even if he went for the Ice Beam, I think the Ice Beam wouldn't have killed this particular set because I'm not 252 in attack and speed. I mean, I have 252 in attack, but I have some HP investments and stuff like that. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance here. I'll try to take advantage of this big... What's this thing called? Uh... Well, big, big mosquito looking guy. <laughs> Take advantage of this guy. So, I'm just going to go for the Dragon Claw. I do resist the Leech Life. He has Ice Punch? This thing can learn Ice Punch. Oh, my lord. What is happening? I don't I don't even understand. This man has... Whoa! His, yo, I got to get that man out of here. So, I'm going to switch into this thing, right? And you're thinking like, yo, why switch into that thing? He has Emergency Exit. He could go for the Leech Life and dwindle him down my HP to lower than half. Well, I do happen to have the red card. So, check this out. Red card's activation goes first, so he's forced to switch out into something else, and I can switch accordingly onto whatever red card forces my opponent to switch out into. In this case scenario, he switches out into that bug electric thing, and I'm able to get off of my choice banded and cinema and get off a nice little flare blitz. So that's crazy, son. It's a total, complete reset in the favor of whoever was holding that red card if you guys decide to use that set with um, that bug water thing that I just used. I, I swear I'm going to get names. I am going to get names properly. The names are right there. I don't want to announce the names um, completely incorrectly and piss you guys off. You know, it's like, yo, man, yo, you, you said the names wrong, man. You know, I don't, I don't want to do that to you guys, you know, so. He also leech life and that is not going to kill. I should have actually just went for the liquidation there. I just thought that he was going to actually finish me off. That's why I went for the first impression. But that's not the case in there, so. He actually, I think he just read that. He read that I went for the first impression, hence why he did an attack that won't finish me off in the afterwards. But that's, that's quite inquisitive. So I'm just going to bring in my Greninja, and now with Tapu Fini out of my way, like I said before, nothing is really blocking me from getting my Battle Bond activation here, and I actually end up doing that, and that is amazing. So, I have a Life Orb Ash Greninja on the field. He brings back in this thing. I know he's going to want to go for the Leech Life, and I don't think that the Hydro Pump would finish it off. I don't know. Maybe I'm underestimating it. This is an Ultra Beast after all, so it actually does not finish it off. He's able to replenish a little bit of his HP back with the Leech Life, and I think that's going to put him back in. Does it put it back in green? Yes, it does. All right, but that's all right because I do have Incineroar. Incineroar happens to be choice. Banded, I can't phase this thing out because that little combo that I had before is decimated, it's gone. I do finally have an assault vest, so I know I'll be able to take off anything that um this little beast thing. <laughs> little beast, I'm <laughs> you know, I'm undermining it. This thing has muscles and everything like that, and I'll be able to take anything he dishes out. I do remember that it's fighting, and so I'm able to go for the moon blast and finish that off, and that will be good game. So I definitely had a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, drop a like. If you guys want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to me. It is awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Peace. What you doing?